to extend the wires of your trolling motor, electric anchor, or maybe your starter cables in your boat, this video is for you. I'm going to show you the best splice kit and I'm going to show you how to get the best wiring. What you need to do, go to your, let's say a big box store, Home Depot, Lowe's, Menards, wherever, and get a set of booster cables. And I use 8 gauge. It's about the right thickness for just about anything in the boat. Looks something like that. And then take them out of the box and you just cut these alligator end clamps off. And then you're left with about 12 feet, 16 feet, however long you got, of nice, good, supple battery cable wire. That's already uh, kind of together right there, so it's probably going to match just about anything in your boat. It's nice and supple, so you can bend it around corners. You know, snake it through your boat if you need to, depending on where you're going to uh, move your wiring to. And they're only like seven, eight bucks. If you go to the electrical department and you buy the wire off a spool, you're probably going to pay $25 for that kind of wire. So the cheapest way to get your wire, get a set of booster cables, cut the ends off, good to go. Now as far as splicing the wires together, this is the best splice kit I have found. I'll put a link in the description below if you guys want to buy it on Amazon. This is actually uh, rated for underground splicing. It's got a really good brass uh, coupler right there, and it's got a heat shrink that I'm going to show you how to install it. So I'm going to bring the camera in up a little bit closer so you can kind of see what I'm doing. So here's what the splice looks like all finished. This is the wire right here coming off of my uh, electric Minn Kota deckhand uh, anchor. And then this is the battery booster cable that I'm splicing onto. I need to add about six feet of cable to this to hit my battery. This is what it looks like finished. Now we're gonna go through it step by step on how to do uh, the splice and we're gonna be doing the black next. So I'll get everything out of the package and get it set up. So what you need to do is you strip back about a quarter inch to three eighths of an inch of shielding off your wire. And then you go ahead and install your splice on one end. And you can, easiest way is to have one screw all the way down, have one loose, that way you don't shove your wire in too far because there's no wire stop in there. So then you're just gonna tighten up the screw on this end here. And then go ahead and loosen this side. And that way, whenever you put this wire in, it's actually gonna butt right up to the other wire as well. Well, you're gonna wanna put your heat shield tubing on next. Grab your other wire, insert that into this end. And we're gonna tighten this up. And now we need to heat up this heat shield and get this shrunk down. So you're just gonna put that over the center and then get yourself a heat source. Now this shielding is uh, pretty thick. You're gonna need something pretty warm. So I'm gonna grab my heat gun and I'll show you how I use my heat gun on it. So once you got that all shrunk down, it should be pretty much a waterproof seal because this is rated for underground uh, connections. You'll kind of see a little bit of glue come out of the end of it right there. This actually glues itself right to the wire. So that's my two connections. And now, like I said, this is for my electric anchor. And now I've got about 12 feet of this nice supple battery cable that I can run uh, just about back to my boat but I'm going to run it over to my battery and I'm never going to have to worry about the splice connection. 
Once again, I hope you found this video informational and helpful. I'll put a link in the description for that splice kit. Uh, just make sure that uh, this splice kit comes in a couple different gauges. Like it will say right here, a range eight to two. Make sure whatever booster cables you get falls in that range. You don't want to get, you know, 10 gauge booster cables. Uh, you want to make sure you get either six or eight. That's what seems to work the best for me. So once again, thank you guys for watching.